There's another thing that happens here in addition to near-peer role modeling because they have a different partner every time and they can observe the partners as well as themselves. It's the self-modeling. Because they knew the topic beforehand and they could prepare a little bit, they could write it, but they can't read in front of the video. They're supposed to have a conversation. They usually outperform what they could do totally spontaneously. So they're doing a good performance usually, okay, because they have prepared for it. And this is something that Peter Dalrick here at the University of Hawaii would call self-modeling. And if you're interested in, in that, you can look at his web page. Um, he's in psychology and he does things called video futures where he allows people to, to perform better than they possibly can and then they watch these videos and then they begin performing that way normally. Okay.